Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Pattern the Evil Within 2. Don't come any closer! Okay, calm down. Don't shoot. I'm not gonna hurt you. See? can lower your gun. I'm on your side. You're not Mobius. You might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job, and my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier, I'm just a technician. I know. Stop, or I'll shoot! No! <laughs> soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you, we're on the same side. Pretty sure you just said he wasn't a soldier. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core. Just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonated the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Is that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. All right, so we enter chapter three. Let's ask um, O'Neill a little bit more about the different uh, options that we got here, the mission. So you've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn, time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job, like home in time for dinner simple, but this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but what's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We use the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? Mobius sent you in here. Shouldn't you know this stuff already? There were five members of your team? There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. Wait, did you just say word? I found Baker. He's dead. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? 
the others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. I'll think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. Those things are pretty tough. It takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not going to find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark its location for you. But be careful. There are a lot of those things hanging around it. Okay. So that's it. All right. So let's let's recap. So we got here. He's part of the five Mobius um, agents that are in here. Baker's dead. Uh, we need to find Lily. She's at the core. Things are going crazy because she's not. Uh, she's missing or lost, which is interesting that they use that word because apparently the enemies are called lost, like I mentioned before. Um, and we also need to find supplies because the enemies are tough, even though technically casual difficulty, like they're not very hard. Here are some supplies. These are weapons or weapon parts, uh, various useful components that can be used to upgrade weapons at a workbench. So it's just a bunch of um, parts and then you use them to upgrade your weapons. Uh, and let's have a look over here. We've got, what the hell? Okay, uh, supply boxes. Each safe house contains a supply box, the contents of which replenish over time. Be sure to check back if you're ever running low on supplies. All right, cool. So I got a bunch of pistol bullets, more, another medical syringe. Now here you get a coffee coffee maker. Drinking coffee at a coffee maker will restore you to full health. Coffee makers will automatically begin brewing another pot after use, but the process will take some time to complete. All right, so yeah, you're able to fully restore your health um, by drinking coffee, which is an interesting concept. Um, and then after you drink it, it'll start restoring. I'm going to drink it because I need full health and also because there's a trophy associated with drinking Takes the edge off. with drinking um, from all the different uh, coffee dispensers in the game. All right, that's the workbench there. Um, oh, I didn't know the circles appear a few. That's weird. Okay, um, so I'm pretty sure we've talked to him about everything. Yep, cool. All right, I'm going to quickly save here and take a bit of a break and then... Um, We'll continue for you guys will just be one second all right let's just save here one hour jesus christ 40 extra minutes that i played without saving um okay so yeah i'll be right back okay i'm back let's keep going in chapter three all right things are pretty laggy at the moment because the uh, because of the way the game loads who's that well if you played evil within one we know who that is. Who is that? I'm actually gonna skip this for now because let me just oh, I can't. Well, I mean I can't access my arsenal. That's okay. I'm gonna skip it. Um, we will uh follow her later. But for right now, I want to just get started. Chapter three is really, really, really long. <laughs> it takes a while. <clears throat> And that's mainly because we're going for all the extra side stuff. Alright, so we go unknown resonance and we press square to lock on. When the communicator is within scanning range of a resonance point, a, resonance point, a waveform will appear on the upper left side of the screen. Move the communicator around to find the signal and lock onto it. Looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. When locked on, the communicator will show the direction and relative distance to the locked on resonance point. Resonance points which have been locked on to will subsequently be shown on the map. Alright, and if we go over here, you can see rogue signal. Go log on to that one. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. And we're better armed this time. Or at least we will be once we raid the supplies. Come on. That must be the signal we imagine. Suck it up, James. Okay, and yeah, it just keeps repeating. One cool thing is like, let's say you log on to Girl's Voice, it's actually on your, 
like it's on his belt there at the bottom of the screen 381 380 379 <laughs> that's pretty cool all right now we get a little cutscene of um the world breaking apart That's the third time he's said that kind of variation. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so now we have chapter three to explore. And like I said, it goes on for a while. I've got like an, a decent idea of how I did this. So I'm just going to kind of follow that. Um, so just like in the first game, uh, these statues contain locker keys. And uh, you can get these locker keys to open the lockers and they give you extra supplies and stuff. So these old fashioned keys can be used to open lockers in Nurse Tatiana's treatment area. So we'll see that soon enough. All right, now that we've got that key, let's go over here into the Union Center, Union Visitor Center. So I like to try and grab as much as I possibly can. Um, I'm basically gonna effectively fully clear. I probably won't get everything because there's so much to get, um, but I'm gonna get the majority of things around the place. So let's just grab everything that we can here. There's those three items, put the light on. And there's also a file here. File number six, the Welcome to Union pamphlet. Union is an ideal mix of small town charm and modern day convenience, surrounded by diverse natural wonders. Jeez, everything you want. <laughs> Come and step back into a simpler time where the warm, friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar. Get away from the hustle and bustle and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms. Union, we're glad you're here. That flipping feature. <laughs> uh, okay, so we go over here, grab whatever the last thing is. Nothing. Okay, there's nothing else here. Uh, we cannot go through that door just yet, so let's ignore it for now. All right, so the other thing to note is, well, I actually didn't want to do that, but that's okay. The other thing to note is we're playing on casual um, but when I was practicing, I actually did most of this on, um, on, uh, Nightmare. So a lot of my strategies are going to be based around that. Um, I, I'm going to try and just do those strategies anyway. Um, so that way for people playing on Night Nightmare, it's still possible and still works. All right. So I like to go around to the back of this guy, take him out. I did not want to do that. Get some green gel. Okay, destroy this and just quickly we're gonna go back this way and just destroy these boxes I don't know if it matters like I don't know if you can destroy these boxes and have that guy not notice you but I guess we just do it that way okay now we're gonna run over here now inside the church there's a little combat section um, but we're gonna well, we're going to do that, but we're going to do something else first. All right, so something to note is that here, oh, well, when you're in bushes, you can see how we're, yeah, foliage can be used for concealment. When your body changes color, you're hidden. If you press L2 and you're close enough, like, well, if you aim and you're close enough with, um, like, to the edge, actually, let me just pause here, uh, you can actually see what you're doing. Now, there should be an enemy that spawns, hang on a sec. I want to be a bit careful here. Let's see if this works. I've never actually seen. That's weird. There we go. <laughs> so the enemy spawns there and he's dragging um, a corpse. Uh, we're just going to wait here for a second for him to go around. Like I said, casual difficulty. I could probably just like shoot him like that. Oh, I didn't realize he would see me. That's okay. I don't think he saw me. Um, yeah, let's reload. Okay, now I'm going to just creep behind. Now, as you can see, Sebastian's crawling speed is atrocious. Um, don't worry about this guy here. He's technically not dead, but that's okay. We're going to finish him off in a sec. So just stealth kill this guy. Get some gel. Got the hand axe like in the first game. Uh, when acquired, a hand axe temporarily replaces the survival knife in combat. Uh, it can instantly kill some enemies, but will break after a single use. Hand axes can be found around Union or taken from enemies. 
Those things are piling corpses up here. But why? I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what the reason is, but I don't know if they ever specifically outright state it. Okay, some more weapon parts. Uh, another bottle. Have we gone over bottles before? I don't know. Anyway, let's investigate under here and try and get um, some extra stuff. Cool. Alright, now this section. So, oh, actually, hang on. So one thing you can do as well. Um, hmm. Let me try it like this. So I'm just going to shoot him in the head. Okay, he didn't die in one hit. It's okay. There we go. Sometimes he'll die in one hit, other times he'll take more than one, like two basically. 500 gel, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, so because I've actually done that, now I've got a slightly different strategy for this. We're going to get a cutscene and um, I'm going to attempt to shoot the person in front of me after the cutscene ends, turn around quickly and um, stealth kill the person behind me. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, it's quite difficult, and then use the hand axe to finish off the last guy. Let's see if this works. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so let's see if I can do this. Okay, do that. Run here. Ah! Oh, what a joke. <laughs> okay, so we've got two. Take one out with a hand axe. And that one. Nice. Luckily, those are the only three enemies in this area. So even if you make sound, it's not really a big deal. Alright, we cleared them out. Um, it is actually possible to stealth kill the one that was exiting. There we go, we got a save. Uh, a lot of auto saves in this, in this game as well. Like, if you're playing on Nightmare, um, it's, it's actually possible to three, three hit, like, in the head to headshot the priest dude, turn around, get here, and then um, crouch and backstab that guy. It's actually possible. I tried it and did it multiple times when I was practicing. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, there's another statue here, so make sure to get locker key number two. Uh, let's get the medical syringe. Uh, we don't need to use it. Huh. Looks like the Padre had some fight in them. I feel like the the game is actually referencing so many movies. Like um, the the father's like face looked like the end of one of the Indiana Jones movies, and this reminds me of uh, the. Da Vinci Code? Is it the first one? I can't remember if it's the first one. I think it is. Anyone know what this means? I have no idea what that means in the context. It's probably in the context of like the church or something, but I have no idea. I've never seen that before. Um, could be like Bible verses or something like that. What was that? Did I see like a flash? Oh, okay. It was the light. All right. And we're out of time. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, we got through a little bit of it. Uh, what's next? Oh, yeah, we're going to go over there. All right, I'll just put myself where we're going to head next. Um, yeah, like I was saying, this game likes to auto-save a lot. Hey, I almost missed this. Metal pipe, a chunk of steel pipe with some rust on the ends. Not worth much as a cudgel. Uh, not, mo not worth much, much as a cudgel. Besides, you've got guns. Uh, this component can be used to craft useful items. Not right now, but it can be. Let's try investigating this thing. Um, yeah, just, just a rock. It's just a watch. 
Um, okay, yeah, we're gonna go up here uh, for next time. So we're gonna try and explore and, you know, get through chapter three as quickly as possible because like I said, it does go for quite a while. Um, similar to the chapter three in um, in the first game because uh, there was that kind of like, it was that gauntlet stage uh, where it was short, but there was like quite a lot to do. Um, all right, but we'll leave it there. Oh yeah, I can't, can I not turn? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode, what are we up to, 4? Yeah, episode 4 of Let's Platinum the Evil Within 2. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.